So you built up a home lab, but now what? Most people stop at installing tools, collecting logs, and maybe spinning up a sim. But the real value comes when you start simulating attacks and practicing how to detect, investigate, and respond to them. Because if you're trying to become a SOC analyst, this is exactly what the job requires. Recognizing patterns, connecting the dots, and documenting what happened. In this video, I'll walk you through why simulating attacks is one of the most powerful ways to learn in your home lab and how you can start even if you're a beginner. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been working in cybersecurity for about nine years now, mainly within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC related projects that you can work on to build up your portfolio. So what does simulating attacks actually teach you and how does this set you apart? In many courses or certifications, you'll learn definitions like what is credential dumping, lateral movement, or data exfiltration. But when you start simulating an attack that aligns with those tactics, even if it's something simple, you start to understand how those concepts actually show up in your logs. You'll begin to see the relationship between the actions on the system and the alerts in the sim. And that is when things start to click. You move from learning about threats to thinking like an analyst while you're investigating them. Let me give you an example. Say you are running a simulated phishing attack using a test email, and the user clicks on the link, downloads the payload, and then upon execution, a PowerShell script is invoked that establishes an outbound connection. Now you're investigating the original email event, the process tree on the endpoint, the network activity that was generated by the script, and any resulting alerts that were generated by your security tools. That one simulation will give you insights into how email and endpoint logs correlate, what evidence is generated during a quote-unquote real attack, and how to follow the timeline of events just like a real SOC analyst would. This is how you start learning in context. You're not just reading about the technique itself, you're actually also applying them end to end to see what it will look like in your logs. The second benefit of an attack simulation is that they give your lab meaning. Instead of just clicking randomly around your tools and dashboards, you're training your investigative mindset. You're answering real questions like, what triggered this alert? Or what does this log tell me? And that kind of thinking is what will separate someone who just studies security from someone who actually does it. And that is exactly what hiring managers are looking for. Now, you might be wondering, where do I start? Well, here are a few beginner-friendly attack simulations. You could simulate a password spray attack with a few failed logins using a test account, trigger a PowerShell script, and then look at the process and command line arguments, drop an eCard test file, and then see how your antivirus responds, or you can use Atomic Red Team to simulate common MITRE attack techniques. The key here is that you don't need to be a red teamer to accomplish this. I mean, you're not trying to be stealthy. You are trying to learn what detection and response feels and looks like. And every time that you run one of these simulations, document it. Write a short summary. What did you simulate? What did the logs show you? What would you do if this were a real alert? And that could potentially, in itself, become a project. By doing this, you are showing that kind of initiative that many would never take. So you've been sitting on your lab environment for quite some time and you're not sure what to do next? Well, this is it. Start simulating something small and observe what happens. Start connecting the dots between activity, evidence, and response. You'll soon realize that by doing this, it will level up your understanding that much quicker. And that is it for the video and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember, to stay curious and do things differently.